Nine, eight. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Starboard Portal. This morning, we're back with another weekly workout from Mike and Lauren Kushner of Sailing Performance Training. As always, if you have questions throughout the workout about form or anything else, feel free to ask them in the live chat. And with that, I'll turn it over to Mike to get us started. Thank you, Brittany. Good morning, sailors. Good morning. We're excited to have another weekly workout for you this week. Um, it is uh, Friday, uh, May 1st. So we're now into May and uh, as states are starting to open up, uh, we are understanding what the new gym situation will be in every state and how to manage that. So with that, uh, we're talking to our athletes on how to, how to what, what are the best practices for starting to re-entry into the fitness world. Um, but for the most part right now, the best strategy is to, just to have a good routine at home and make sure you're still crushing that. As long as you have a good routine at home and uh, you're really implementing the, those strategies to uh, improve your fitness, um, the, the, the gym stuff is gonna come, be patient with it. Um, and let, let's just work out. Let's work out at home and, and be comfortable with that. So we'll come to the whiteboard. So whiteboard today, we are going to do a, a nice workout that's really going to test your aerobic engine. I call it an engine just because the way that we want to be rhythmic and uh, create um, your aerobic potential with that engine. So just like an engine, you want to see how, how fast you can rev up that engine and how long you can have that higher rev. So this, we call this an intensification phase of training. We've done a lot of work previously where we're starting to build capacity, build strength, do movements slower for quality. Today, we're gonna put a little bit of a emphasis on intensity and speed. Um, but with that, there's always ability to scale and always ability to slow it down to your ability. So that, that is uh, always a necessity to understand where, where you're at. Um, so to, to start, we're gonna do a warm up again, and then we'll move into section B, um, the, the first section of the workout. It's gonna be a 10 minute EMOM. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute you're gonna do work. So what that means is we have three exercises, jumping lunges, push-ups, and sit-ups. All of these movements we're gonna do at the top of the minute. So 10 jumping lunges, five push-ups, five sit-ups, right at the top of the minute. And then the rest of the minute, we're gonna rest, okay? So this is a really good strategy for um, basically a, a, a timed series for 10 minutes, putting a time domain on it, but still allocating a little bit of rest time. And this will take everybody a little bit different uh, amount of time to actually complete these. So if you finish within 20 seconds, you have 40 seconds of rest. If you finish within 40 seconds, you have 20 seconds of rest and, and anywhere in between. So we'll work on that first. That is definitely more focused on the quality than, than the speed, but we still wanna put some intensity behind it. And that minimal rest time emphasizes that. Then we'll move into round C, so our second round, uh, second block of training. And this is a four time piece. And this is really where we'll be increasing the intensity and challenging our breath rate, our, our cardiovascular system, and our ability to be dynamic and explosive uh, for a longer period of time. So this is three rounds, four time, 15 burpees, 30 air squats, and 60 jumping jacks. Okay, so again, no equipment through any of this that we're going to require. Um, we know that you're at home training with minimal equipment. Uh, if, if you feel like you have some that you could incorporate, that, that's a-okay, but we're going to focus on minimal equipment uh, only. So this is three rounds for time, and then we're going to record our time at the end so that we can get a little bit of competitive. Uh, our SPT-sponsored athletes have, have done this pre previous to us going live. So we have some time, some benchmark times that we're gonna try to hit um, and beat and compare ourselves uh, to some of the best in the sport. So that'll be the goal for 
round C and then round D will be a cool down. We'll recover from there. So let's start with a warm up. And again, as always, as we go through this, we'll stop between each block and, and talk over what we're doing and go over the movement standards. Um, but if you have questions, please uh, make those in the comment section and um, we will answer them. Awesome. Thanks, Lauren. Great. So for the warm up, we're going to start just with a knee hug, as we've always been doing. You're going to balance on one leg and hug your knee to your chest and then switch sides. We'll do three per side. Good. One more per side. Good. And then we're going to take a forward lunge with that left leg. That left arm elbow is gonna come down to the ground and then you're gonna reach up to the sky and then come back to a half split, half front split. And you're gonna come back, elbow down, up to the sky and half front split. We'll do one more on this side, elbow to the ground, up to the sky and back. Go just warming up that left leg and then we'll stand and go to the right leg right leg lunges forward right elbow comes to the ground reaches up to the sky and back forward elbow to the ground up to the sky and back one more on this side elbow to the ground and up and back Good, and we'll stand from there. Next, what we're gonna do is just some reverse lunges. So what you're gonna stand in the middle of your mat or the front of your mat, and we're just gonna go back into reverse lunge. And at the bottom, I just want you to do a slight rotation to each side and then stand. Back with the other leg, rotation each side and stand. We'll do three per side. Good, one more per side. Good, great. Now we're gonna go to the back of our mat and we're gonna go ahead and do an inchworm. So hands down to your feet, walking out to a plank position. And then let's send this back into a downward dog, stretching out the lats, sending the head through the shoulders. And you can walk the knees just a little bit. Just flex, extend the knees just to get a nice little hamstring stretch and then walk back up to standing. And we're gonna do that one more time. And downward dog. Walking the knees. And back up to standing. Great, and this next time we're gonna go down and then we're gonna do some shoulder taps at the bottom. So inchworm down to a plank and then we're gonna do 20 shoulder taps. If you need to widen your feet, go ahead. Try to keep your core engaged. Five. 10. Fifteen. Twenty, good job, and walk back up. Great. Next, what we're gonna do is some air squats. So we're gonna do ten air squats, and again, hips, hips about hip width, shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. You can have a slight degree out, five ten degrees, and I want you to screw your legs into the ground as much as possible, squeezing the glutes, and then send your hips back on the way down and back up. Good, let's do 10 reps. One more, good, good. Now, just to get a little bit of explosive nature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do five jumping 
uh, squats, so squat jumps, all right? So we're gonna just dip down and drive up as high as you can go. You can land, reset, dip down, drive up. What we're trying to do is create a little bit of intensity, a little bit of explosion with some fast twitch muscle fibers. There we go. And one more. Good, nice. Let's do some arm circles just to warm up the shoulders a little bit more. So thumbs pointed up. I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades back and down as tight as possible. And let's do small circles going backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then switch directions. Doing 20 total. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. And just kind of shake your shoulders out. This will get us set up for the workout. All right, so warm up done. Hopefully you got your heart rate up just a little bit and uh, felt like we were able to get some muscles warm and those faster drivers actually firing. Um, th the first block here again, remember is quality uh, versus quantity, but we're gonna put a little intensity behind it just with that rest being a little bit shorter. So again, 10 minutes. Every minute on the minute, you're gonna do these three movements, 10 jumping lunges, five push-ups, and five sit-ups. Then you're gonna rest the remaining of the minute. So Lauren's gonna demonstrate the movements, and then we have some um, regressive movement patterns that we can do as subs if you feel like these are too difficult. So we'll start with the jumping lunges. What you're gonna do is basically you're staying in one spot, you're not moving, but we're just gonna alternate from right leg to left leg being in that lunge position. And you're gonna jump from one to the next. That's why we call it jumping lunges. So go ahead and demonstrate, let's do six of them. So you're landing, hold the bottom here real quick. You're landing with your knee behind your toes and your heel planted on the ground. So 90 degrees with the front leg, 90 degrees with the back leg. Good, let's do three more. Switching sides, basically just jumping up vertically and coming back down, landing in that same position. Good, and rest. So a sub or an alternate for this, if you feel like that jumping is just too difficult for you, would be reverse lunges. And we've done these previously. You'll come to the front of your mat and you're just gonna reverse back to that 90-90 position. Front leg 90 degrees, back leg 90 degrees, upright torso, and then stand back to the front of your mat. Switch sides, come down and up. Good, come down and up. And as we did yes uh, last week, I had a chair as well. So if you have something that you can hold, you can use that as a support to help you come back up. If you really feel like it's a challenge to, to come back up to that standing position. So we'll do 10 of those and it's five per leg. So alternating 10 total jumping lunges. The next is gonna be push ups. So Lauren's gonna demonstrate both a full push up and then a regressed push up. So full push up, you're coming down, chest touching the ground and standing. Good chest coming to the ground, core is nice and tight. You're not sagging the hips. You're not doing a worm where the hips are lowering first. You're keeping the core nice and engaged. Good, and rest. A regressed version of it or a sub would be going to your knees at this point. So it's a, a smaller lever that we're working with and the same effective strategy, keeping the core nice and tight, chest to the ground and coming up. Good, awesome. And then a third, if you feel like you're really struggling with the push-ups, a third would be actually going to a desk or uh, say uh, uh, an island in your kitchen, wherever you're working out, and actually just going to the push-up at the bottom of, of the um, desk or wherever the elevated position is, that's, that's another way to sub. So elevating or going to your knees. Awesome. 
Lauren doing one from uh, a, a table too. Good, and then sit-ups. There's a couple of different ways we can do sit-ups. One is in a butterfly position. So that's where your feet are together um, and then your knees are spread out. And that just takes a little bit of focus off of the hip flexors in terms of the movement. And then another way would be just keeping your feet flat and your knees directly over your feet. And it's just gonna be different for everybody. Some people have more strain on their hip flexors during this or less. Uh, but the goal here, if you turn sideways just slightly, is that we touch our shoulders to the ground at the bottom and that we come up where the shoulders are in front of the hips. So we're coming up to the full expression of the movement. We're not doing a small crunch. It's a full expression of the movement. And we can use our arms to create momentum. That's okay using our arms to create momentum. Good, so 10 minutes, we'll review it again. 10 minutes, every minute on the minute, you're gonna do 10 jumping lunges, five push-ups, five sit-ups, and then we'll rest the remaining of that minute. So you have to, you know, we will start the time and say, go on the top of the minute, every minute, but it's up to you to really rest when, when you're completed with this series. If it takes us 30 seconds and it takes you 20 seconds, you have more rest than us. That's okay. Um, just keep track and we'll tell you when the next minute comes about. Great. If there's any questions, please uh, comment in the comment section, uh, but we will get started here. Just gonna track this. Awesome. You ready, Lauren? I'm ready. All right. So 10 jumping lunges, five push-ups, five sit-ups. We will get started in three, two, one, and go. Great, 30 seconds in, we have 30 seconds of rest. Nice job. So one round done, we're doing this for 10 minutes. This will be a total of 10 rounds. 15 seconds until the next round, minute two. Starting in three, two, one, go. Uh, 30 seconds. See if you can keep a nice consistent pace, keep breathing. Again, this is quality, but we're putting it under a time domain. So it creates a little bit of intensity behind it. Forces you to limit your rest, suggest the time between the minutes. 10 seconds until the third round. Starting in three, two, one. And go. Thirty seconds again, nice and consistent. Good job. Consistency matters here. Picking a pace, picking a level of the work of the exercise that you feel like you can sustain it is key. Ten seconds until the next round. This is the fourth round. 
starting in three, two, one, and go. Good. Same time. Nice and consistent. Great. So this next one will be halfway through. Again, you should have a little bit of rest going, but really sustainable work. Ten seconds. This is round number five. This will be halfway through. Starting in three, two, one. And go. job halfway done 30 seconds to rest good job still working good job sometimes this can get pretty short if you feel like you're getting into the 40 45 seconds and even 50 seconds of rest but that's the fun of it five seconds this is round six three Two, one, and go. Job. Use us as a little competitor. Nice to have Lauren, my wife, next to me, keeping me honest. 15 seconds. This is going to be round seven. Seven? Yep. Seven. Coming up in five seconds. Here we go. Three. Two, one, and go. job 30 second rest if you're still working nice job keep it up i know it's quick turnaround it's part of the intensity making sure you're able to breathe 15 seconds this is round eight three more rounds starting in five three two one and go job 30 seconds of rest you're still working good job keep it going only two more rounds left you can do it we'll have a nice little break after this so really push try to stay on the minute as best as possible go by our count 15 seconds of rest starting in 10 seconds 
five, three, two, one, and go. Good job. 30 seconds of rest. Last little bit. One more. Nice job. Let it all out there. See if you can beat your time. Again, we have a little bit of rest after this, this one. 15 seconds of rest. 10 seconds. Last round. Five, three, two, one, and go. Good job. Nice one, nice job team. Keep it up, finish this round. You can do it. You got it. Still 20 more seconds. Good work. Should be finishing up here in the next 15 seconds, the end of the round. Good job, keep it up. Ending this block in five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. All right. Shove everybody. Happy to hear some comments on how that went. Were you able, what was your time domain? Were you able to fit in with within 45 seconds and then you had 15 seconds to rest, 30 seconds, 30 seconds like we did, or were you finishing within 20, 15 seconds? I would be impressed. That's, good. That's really good work. Um, but again, consistency, you know, heart rates up, breath rates up, but we're, we could probably go for what another 10 rounds, yeah. Yeah. three rounds, yeah. five rounds. It's kind of the, the goal of it is just to have that expressed movement over a certain time domain. And you're really structuring in your rest so that, you know, you're, you're not just resting just because you're really forcing yourself. Okay. minutes up. I got to go again. I got to go again. So that's, that's the goal there. We'll rest for another four minutes before we start this next one, because it's going to be a doozy. It'll be fun, though. Any other thoughts, Lauren? Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. All right, well, let's go over the yeah. movement standards. Again, I'll go to the board just to show you. So we're going to do three rounds, four times. This is section C. And we're going to do 15 burpees, 30 air squats, and 60 jumping jacks. Okay, so this is three rounds. So we're doing a total of 45 burpees. We're doing a total of 90 air squats, and we're doing a total of 180 jumping jacks. All right, and we're going to do that four times where we're going to record our time here. All right, so you're going to go through each of these and then go back to the top each of these and then back to the top for a final round and finish out. All right, that's the goal here. So let's go over burpees, air squats and jumping jacks just to show the movement standards and maybe some ways we're gonna regress. Lauren and I are gonna do it slightly different uh, just because of the push up volume. So one of the things on the burpees is that we can either do two types of burpees. One is gonna be with a push up and one's gonna be without a push up. And as well with those, we can step down or jump down jump up or step up out of it. So let's start with uh, a no push up burpee, which is gonna be a little bit regressed, a little bit easier of a burpee because you're not doing that push up. So let's do the jump out, jump up as the full expression of it. So coming down to a plank, just a plank position at the bottom, shoulders are nice and strong. You're pushing away from the ground, good. And then you're gonna jump back up. So your feet are 
landing just about where your hands are and your heels are on the ground. Nice wide stance, basically your squat stance. And then you'll come up and jump up as high as you can. Think of a target about 12 inches or six to 12 inches above your head that you want to reach and touch, okay? So let's do three of those. This is jump back, jump up, no push-up burpee. Good. So in a, a slight regression of that would be a step back, step up. So this is a little bit less intensive on the core and the midline to create that contraction to be able to jump back and up. So a step back will look like this, where you're stepping back with one foot, coming back to the next foot, holding that plank position, and then stepping back up to that position and then jumping, okay? So it's a slight regression of it. It's actually time-wise, maybe pretty similar to the jump back, jump up. It's just a little bit less intensive on the midline. Good. So the next version of it's gonna be a push-up. So again, the no push-up is, is one way to do it. It's just a slightly easier, less volume on the shoulders. If you have less background in terms of training, if you have the background, let's go for the full expression of the burpee with the push-up. So you'll jump back and down to the bottom of the push-up. So go down to the bottom of the push-up and back up to a plank and then jump back up and jump up, okay? So it's down, push up, and up. Down, push up, and up. Good, and then let's do a step back and step up version. So back down to a plank, same setup, push up, and then step back up and jump. Good. Good, and rest. All right, she's already done a bunch. All right, bonus air, air bonus fitness. All right, air squats, pretty self-explanatory. And we've talked about these just in the warm up, but again, feet are about shoulder width apart. Toes are pointed relatively forward. We don't want them turned out a ton. Five, 10 degrees is okay, depending on how your hips are, uh, are, are in, yeah, flexible. You know, if there's a impingement or feeling any tightness, Sometimes a slight turnout helps with that. But again, we don't want to turn out too much because then it turns off our glutes, which then makes it very hard to stabilize the pelvis. So when we go down to the bottom of the squat, the hips are going to send back, the knees are going to track over the toes and our chest and um, torso is going to be nice and upright and proud. So that's what the, the position looks like. Nice flat back. If we need to hold a chair, or a desk or have somebody help us, then that is a way that we can lower down into the squat, into depth, and then come back up. If we're struggling to get the depth, what we can do is just go to a half squat. So that's gonna be somewhere in the range where you're above parallel with your quads, um, but you're feeling like you're getting that motion, you're activating the quads, but we're keeping control. Uh, and that's, that's a good sub as well. Awesome. So air squats, we've gotten, and then jumping jacks, really self-explanatory. I'm sure you've done them, you know, plenty of times as a kid, but we're going to start with our feet together, hands next to our sides, and we're going to jump out into a star position with our hands. They can touch at the top if you want, just to give a benchmark or come close to touching, hand, feet wide, and then coming back to that full tree pose position, I guess you could call it. Back and forth, back and forth, and counting up to 60 reps, okay? A nice sub of this, if, if we won't do it in this, uh, in this um, segment, but if, we, if you have a jump rope or you have something else that you could do, um, what we're getting at is that dynamic jumping and that ability to rebound with your ankles and your calves. That's kind of what we're getting at here, right? So it's a, it's, it jacks up the heart rate just slightly, but allows us to really absorb that load and keep the body moving. So that's the goal of the jumping jacks. Great. Feel, feel good? Yeah. She's warm. I'm not warm yet. All right. Three rounds, 15 burpees, 30 air squats, 60 jumping jacks, four time. All right. And I'm going to mute uh, myself so you don't hear me laboring, breathing. Um, but 
if you have questions, this is the time to ask. And uh, we've taken a little longer rest to go through those movement standards, but that's okay. Um, we will get started in a minute here. So Brittany, let me know if there's any questions. Um, this will be a four time piece. So we will finish, we will record our time, but we'll keep chatting at the end. And the goal is for you to finish your time and then post in the comments what your time is that you finished the three rounds. Um, so Brittany, is there any, any questions that we can answer pre, uh, prior to us actually getting into this? No questions. We do have some comments um, from the previous round. Uh, it took about 45 seconds per group, 32 seconds. Nice cool. push to get more rest time. Um, and then Ray says this middle ager sped up after three rounds, guessing that was part of the plan. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, good. Good. So within that range of the minute, you're kind of finding the workload. And then what we're able to do is rest in between, but not rest too long. So that's this intensification is really limiting the rest, but keeping the intensity high, which is exactly what you want to do. So nice job. All right. One more minute. We're just getting situated here. We have a marker to be able to record our time at the end. Everybody to use a stopwatch or their phone to actually start this workout. Um, and I'll go through it one more time just because, but I think it's in the comments too. Three rounds for time, 15 burpees, 30 air squats, 60 jumping jacks. Uh, keep yourself honest in terms of um, the reps that you're doing and, and counting. Uh, and we will do the same. It's going to be a little competition here between the Kushners, and um, we'll let you know how we do at the end. So it, with that, I'm going to mute and I'm going to give you a five four, three, two, one. And then I'm going to do the classic uh, sailing start, uh, starting your watch. And we're going to do that in five.
Come on, you still got Lauren. I got it. Seven minutes exactly. Nice job. I got 646. Nice job, team. Keep it going. We're going to keep this going because I know some of you are still working. We're going to catch our breath, but keep going. Should be on your last round. 15 burpees, 30 air squats, 60 jumping jacks. So record your time in the comments when you finish. Make sure to look at your watch. All right, 7.30. 7.30 is the time right now. Breathe. Breathe, nice and calm, controlled, but keep it intense. Good job. 7.45, good job team. Come on, you can do it. 6.46 was mine. Good job. Three, two, one is eight minutes. Good job team, eight minutes. You can do it, keep going, just because we've stopped. That's okay, keep going. You know, we're, we're here as a community. We're helping each other out. Let's keep supporting. If you're doing it with somebody else, keep supporting them through it. Good job. Lauren, you wanna do another round just because? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you really don't have to. And she's going for round four, just to keep the crowd engaged. Nice job, Lauren, 8.30. Breathe. She's an animal. Nice job, team. Keep it going. Keep it going for Lauren. She's doing extra reps just to keep you engaged. That's good. 8.45. We're going to cap it at 10 minutes. But if you feel like you can keep going, keep going in terms of finishing that three rounds. That's our goal here. And put, post your score in the comment. Brittany, if any scores are coming in, please let us know. Good job. Nine minutes, you have a minute left and then we're gonna stop the live feed of it. But if you wanna finish the three rounds, keep going. Good job team, 9.15. Lauren's gonna finish this round here. Good job. Bonus round for Lauren. Good job. 30 more seconds and then we're gonna stop the timer, at least for this open round. And if you wanna keep going, to finish that three rounds, feel free. Good job, Lauren. From the audience, we've got a couple scores coming in. Uh, somebody beat you by 10 seconds without doing the burpees. And then Good. William's got eight minutes and five seconds without push-ups in the burpees. Nice job. That's eight minutes and five seconds without push-ups. Okay, we're gonna finish Lauren's round here. So that's 10 minutes right there. We're gonna finish Lauren's round. So she finishes with a fourth round as a bonus. Good job. 30 reps in, halfway through. Halfway through. 40 reps, good job, Lauren. Let's give her a round of applause. That's great. Again, if your scores are coming in, post it. Sub 10 minutes is awesome. Great work, everybody. 60, good job. Good job. Four rounds, a little break in between. Nice. Hope that was fun for everybody. Let's look at the times again. So, Lauren, seven minutes. Little asterisk, no push ups. Again, think about the volume that we're doing here. It would be 90 five push-ups overall if you did the push-ups at the beginning and then the push-ups with the burpees so good on you for that volume if you're able to do it mine was 646 rx with the push-ups in the burpees so one comment there Brittany, of somebody that finished in uh 636 without the push-ups in the burpees awesome job again based on the standard but keeping that heart rate up as high as possible and uh, really challenging yourself with those reps. So great job. A couple of the sponsored athletes finished in Steph, Steph Robel finished with no push-ups in her burpees at 6.39. And uh, Carlos Robles from Spain, one of our SPT sponsored athletes finished in 6.39 again with push-ups 
So, Carlos, you got me. Steph, you got me. Nice job. Yeah. Good, um, job. good on you. That was a good little leg burner. Yeah. Upper body burner, core burner. Little Breath burner. <laughs> Breath burner. Nice. So we're going to do a little cool down here. Again, if your scores are coming in, please post them. Um, love to see what some of those scores are and how, how you felt it was. Um, let's do a little cool down. Let's stretch out those areas that are got, got a little tight. Forward fold. Let's start that. So sitting on your bums, your feet are going to be together, straight out in front of you. You're just going to reach forward, grabbing your ankles, your toes, your heels, whatever you can get a grip on, relaxing your head and just holding this position. Ideally, we hold these positions at the end of a workout, the longer isometric holds, stretching for at least two minutes in a position. We're gonna hold for a minute, just considering time on the live feed, but make sure you're giving yourself the time to cool down at the end. Ten more seconds. Good. And relax. Cross shin position. So one shin in front of the other. So it's like just crossing your legs, but one shin is going to be directly in front of the other. So we're going to reach forward from this position. You're probably going to feel it if your left shin is forward. You'll probably feel it in that left hip. And you're just trying to open up that left hip. Might be a little tight from sitting, kind of the lifestyle at home, as well as some of those squats end up getting a little tight with the hips. So range of motion at the beginning of the workout, really opening up range of motion. And here, just letting, letting your body open up into some of those longer holds. We'll hold for... 10 more seconds and then switch sides. Good, and come out of that and we'll switch sides. So right shin is gonna be in front and forward and walking your hands out. If you're super mobile, you can do full cross position like Lauren is doing, sticking that left heel up on that right calf. If not, just put that chin right in front and walk forward. Five more seconds. Nice deep breath and relax. Maybe a quad stretch. So we'll come to a half kneeling position. Oh, oh yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so we're gonna come to a kneeling position. And so you're gonna be sitting on your heels. And what we're gonna do is walk back with our hands to the point where we feel those quads start to fire up, keeping that butt as tight as possible and just holding this position. For some of you, it might just be right here with the vertical torso. For others, you could come all the way back down to a full laid back position like Lauren is. And it just depends on your mobility. And we're gonna hold this for 20 more seconds. Just opening up the shins, you may feel it, opening up the quads, the hip flexors. Good job, 15 more seconds. I guess I'm holding for about 40 more seconds. Sorry about that. Five more seconds. Good, and then let's go into child's pose from here. So we're gonna open up the knees just slightly, toes touching, and you're just gonna send the hips back and the arms forward and just holding this position. We're gonna stretch out the lats. Yeah, so if you want a little bit more of a shoulder stretch variation, what you can do is 
bring your elbows relatively close together and you can bring both hands back to between your scaps, behind your neck. And what you'll feel is a little bit more of a stretch between your lats and into your triceps. There's a little bit more of a stretch. You can alternate which arm you're using to give one sided. We'll hold for 10 more seconds. Good, and relax, we'll come out of that and we'll call it a day. Nice job, Lauren. Nice job, team. And we will end with that. Again, if you're interested in learning more about SBT and our programming and how we're helping the sailing community be more fit during these challenging times, um, please reach out. My email is mike at sailingperformancetraining.com. And uh, yeah, we're happy to, to help out in any way we can um, if you're interested in learning more. So thank you, Brittany, and thank you, the U.S. Sailing community, for watching and engaging with us. Um, we hope to see you uh, more in the future. All right, thanks, Mike. And thanks everybody for moving with us this morning. As Mike said, if you wanna see more from him and SPT, please feel free to reach out to him if you have questions or visit their website to check out their medallion program in a two week free trial. Their link is in the description. So if you wanna move more with workouts like these, you can totally check that out. And if you enjoyed today, today's session, please support our efforts to build a community of active and engaged sailors through the starboard portal by purchasing or renewing your U.S. sailing membership. You can visit us at mem.ussailing.org to join or renew today. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. Have a great Have weekend. A good weekend.